Hey everybody, Dear Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Birushana, Rising Flower of Genpei, along Benkei Musashibo's route. And we finally made it to Hirazumi. And it seems like, uh, maybe might be legit, people might be nice, and actually give us time to relax some and amass our power, get to do some meditating. We'll see how it goes. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Shano had been in Hiraizumi for some time, but world-shaking events continued to develop in Kyoto. The Shishigatani Plot Deep in the mountains of Shishigatani, near Kyoto, close advisors of Emperor Go Shirakawa plotted the downfall of the Heike. Ah, making a move against them without even me being involved. However, the plot was thwarted when one of the Kiyomori spies informed him of the group's plan. Ah, oh, darn you! Kiyomori long knew the aristocrats were dissatisfied with his rule, but he was shocked that they would actively plot against him. Really? You're a jerk, and then you're really shocked when somebody actually makes a move? Unbelievable to think those aristocratic fools would plot against me! Against the Heike! Oh, there will be hell to pay! Kiyomori's indignation was tremendous. In fact, some of the aristocrats that had been captured even had ties to the Heike. So traitors! Naisune, that backstabbing son of a bitch! I don't care if he has ties to the Heike or not! I'll get him for this! I'm terribly sorry, brother. Norimori rubbed his head. His face was pale, and Kiyomori lashed out angrily at him. Do you think an apology is enough, Norimori? You're the one who bought this upon us. You're gonna blame it on your brother. I have no words, my lord. I... I should have known. I should have seen that Naritsune's intentions were not pure. I... Naritsune Fujiwara, one of the plotters, was married to Lord Norimori's daughter. So close was Naritsune to the Heike family, Kiyomori felt as though one of his own family members had betrayed him. There's no use at yelling at Norimori, father. It's his son-in-law's fault. It's not as though the traitor is blood-related to us. He is right, father. There's no way Norimori could have kept track of him all this time. Don't you dare tell me what I can and can't be upset about! Kiyomori's eyes burned at the words of Tomomori and Shigehira. Ugh! If you're so mad about it, just kill him! Don't say that! Sh Shigehira! Those who betray us no longer have any ties to us, right? Who cares if they're dead, then? Kill them all, I say! Don't say that! Don't you know your dad's kind of crazy? Norimori gasped at the frankness of Shigehira's words. That's true! Please, wait! No, you mustn't! The effects of that would be disastrous! Please, I beg you to reconsider! Despite his desperate pleas, Kiyomori's face was completely void of any hint of compassion, and yet... Shigehira, that's too much even for you. Besides, father would not make such a foolishly rash decision. Oh, uh, wouldn't he? What? All were surprised at Tomomori's coolness in the face of such furious passion. There was no need to kill Naritsune, or any of the others. They must only demand that the plotters be removed from their posts. As many of them were close to Emperor Go Shirakawa, removing the plotters would reduce his power in the imperial court. Hmm, perhaps you're right. Ugh. His rage cooled. Kiyomori began to see the logic of his plan. The incident itself was unforgivable, but this didn't mean it couldn't be used to his advantage. Indeed, brother. With the plotters stricken of their positions, there's no longer anyone who can challenge you. Besides, the shedding of blood will only cause a backlash against the Heike. And it would also mean my daughter would lose her husband. I beg you, please spare her that fate. Seeing an opening, Norimori desperately pleaded with his brother. Although not fully convinced, Kiyomori sighed and spoke. Very well. I will not execute Naritsune, but I will not forgive him either. 
All the conspirators were to be punished harshly, either with execution or exile. And Kiyomori knew he could not overlook Naritsune's deeds just because he was family. So, exile it is, huh? Brother. Norimori knew that there was nothing else to say to Kiyomori, who refused to budge any more. Naritsune was later exiled. Well, better than executed. Such was the sorry end of all those who participated in the Shishigatani plot. Ah, oh, if only they would have joined up with us. Yet, considered by many to be the ringleader of the plot, Emperor Go Shirakawa himself was never publicly condemned. That would be a bridge too far, I think. But with the loss of many of his advisers and his implicit involvement in the plot, his relationship with Kiyomori was beyond repair. Although few thought it possible, Kiyomori's power grew even more, and he was widely viewed as unstoppable. And might as well be the emperor already. Oh, that was a short chapter. Chapter 6. Benke Musashibo. Wait, why is it just now being called... Oh, I guess this is his special chapter. Let me check out our stats with him. Low chart. No, info. Ah, still barely anything. Look, it's only up to, like, the E on his name. And we still have no kindness. Why are we so unkind? But we're very knowledgeable and a teensy bit strong. I don't understand why my choices are so... Ah. I don't know, maybe he just likes people who are unkind and smart. <laughs> I've been making the choices along his way ever since I started following the guide. Ah, that's all I can do. Some time had passed since settling down in Hiraizumi. One day, Benkei and I were joined by Sugunobu and Tadanobu, who showed us around Hiraizumi. What a magnificent temple this is. Indeed, it really is something. A stately glittering hall with a beautifully landscaped garden outside lay in front of us. We couldn't help but be overwhelmed by the magnificent temples and shrines that showcase the rich culture in Hiraizumi. What do you think, Lord Shano? Surprised? I bet you didn't expect to find a temple like this so far north, did you? Hmm. It's a bit rude to say so, but you're right. I had heard stories, but seeing it with my own eyes, it's magnificent. <laughs> That's what everyone says when they first come into Hiraizumi. Just seeing your surprise made the whole trip worth it. For you or for me? <laughs> Prior to this, we saw Motsu Temple and the Temple of Lord Hirahira himself, Morioko in. So beautiful. And we're just on a tour of temples today? But it's the first time I've seen the Golden Pagoda. Not only is it gorgeous, but it also has this kind of solemn air about it. You like it? This place was built by the founder of the Fujiwara family, Kiyohira. It is said that Lord Kiyohara wished a peaceful death to friend and foe alike, and that all could find their place in heaven. What a kind soul! And that same sentiment has been passed down to the third generation, Lord Hidehira. A world in which all peoples can live in peace, without suffering from hunger or being threatened by foreign enemies. It is Lord Hidehira's wish to establish such a utopia in the land of Hiraizumi. Sounds lovely! A utopia? Lord Hidehira really is something, isn't he? As long as he's not really a megalomaniac behind the scenes, he certainly is. Sugunobu replied proudly, showcasing his earnest trust and respect for Lord Hidehira. It's no wonder that all the temples in Hirazumi are so magnificent. Indeed, you should tell him that next time you get the chance. You should. Lord Hidehira is an avid Buddhist. I'm sure he and Benkei would have a lot to talk about. Lord Hidehira cares for you very much as well, Lord Shano. I'm sure he'll be very pleased to hear your praise. Indeed, it is by talking with others that we gain insights different from what we learn on our own. Well said, Sugunobu. That's what I'm hoping to do here on Hiraizumi. Yeah, studying Buddhism is great and all. I'm more into training my body, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I know what you mean, but 
you saying that to Shauna is a little... Hmm. <laughs> You'd like exercise, Lord Shano? I've seen you in the garden of your estate, wheeling your sword and working out. Why, yes, I suppose you could say that. The carefree smile on his face made me stammer. Tata Nobu was right. I have been spending most of my days training with my sword, occasionally with Tata Nobu and the others. However, my reason for training was a little different from what Tata Nobu had said. Even though we've arrived in Hiraizumi safely, I can't just sit back and relax. I still don't know what to do next. That's why I continued to train my body with my sword and my mind with knowledge. To be ready for whatever comes next. The only thing I could do was spend every waking moment refining myself. Benke, you're one of those people who'd rather train than learn, right? I heard you used to be a soldier at Hiezan. Hmm, yes, I guess you could say that. But I still enjoy Dokyo. Old habits die hard, I guess. Dokyo is the act of reading Buddhist scripture aloud. But I always feel like I need to be more diligent when I'm around Lord Chano. Hmm. Then why don't you visit one of the local temples? Really? Would that be alright? Haven't we been visiting the temples all day? Or is he just suggesting that Benke spend more time at the temples? Sure. There are many monks in the temples of Hiraizumi. All of them are well-educated and fiercely skilled in martial arts. You could read scripture with them or practice martial arts. That would be fantastic! What an opportunity! Uh huh. Uh, but no, I am in service of my lord. I can't leave his side. Don't worry. There's all kinds of guys here that are just falling all over themselves just to be with me and protect me, Benke. I'll be alright for a couple hours while you go do some templing. Benke, you're joking, right? You're already always by my side. Don't you need some time to yourself every once in a while? Don't worry. I'll take care of Lord Shano while Benke is away. Yeah, I'm sure you will. <laughs> See, what did I say? W what? Suganobu. Of course. If you wish, I can show you the sights of Hirozumi like we did today. Or we can go for a hunt or a horseback ride. I promise you'll never be bored when you're with me. <laughs> hmm... That sounds like fun. Oh, he's tempting her. Huh. I appreciate your concern, but I don't think that would be possible. I can't leave your side after all, Lord Chano. <laughs> he can't trust you to this cad. Don't be shy. I'll take good care of Lord Chano. I, I'm not being shy. He's being protective. And a little stingy. If you train yourself and become stronger... Won't that in turn help Lord Shano? Grr, that is a fine point, Lord Suganobu, but... But keep your hands off Shana! But... Uh, but... He's gonna explode! With a terribly serious look on his face, Benkei's brain worked at full capacity to find a reply. <laughs> Poor Benkei! Ah! Is... Is he... Is he alright? <laughs> I guess that's how genuine his devotion to his lord is. Isn't that something? Benke. <laughs> Poor Benke. Then Benke, how about this? Lord Totonobu. A winner-take-all tournament between Shana, my brother, you and I. Oh, and Shungen and the others too. Wait, a battle royale or are we taking teams? W winner take all all as in my hand? Or uh, what else is included? Indeed, Lord Shano may get bored with us being his only opponents. The more combatants, the more experience we'll gain. All of us will get to spend time with Lord Shano while honing our skills and getting stronger. Pretty brilliant, right? A fantastic idea. I could train without worry, all while keeping an eye on my lord. But if it's just a one-time fight... It's not really much of a training thing, if you ask me. Oh my god, just look at this picture. You are an absolute genius, Lord Tadanobu. <laughs> no, he's not. I know, right? 
And after that, we have a group study session to read The Art of War. Eh? Group study? Oh, you scared him off. A fine idea. <laughs> well, if everyone agrees, it sounds good to me. So it's settled then. Let's look forward to it. Uh, studying. Seems like it put off at least one person. Well, that should wrap up the tour. I hope you've learned a bit about our home here at Izumi. Yes, you two make excellent tour guides. I feel like I learned a lot about here at Izumi. I'm glad to hear you say that. Isn't that right, brother? Yes, Hiraizumi is our pride. It is our sincere hope that Lord Shano grows to know and love this land too. Thank you. I'm sure that I'm sure that will be the case. Besides, it's not just Hiraizumi. I feel like I've learned a lot about you both too. Indeed, I too feel we were able to learn things about you that cannot be seen in training alone. And Benkei, too. You seem like a good vassal, even if you are a bit overprotective. <laughs> uh, th thank you, Lord Tadanobu. Tadanobu smiled mischievously at Benkei, who seemed flustered. <laughs> it's pretty easy to fluster poor Benkei. What? It's true, isn't it? I'm just complimenting you on being a man who takes good care of his lord. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked us to show you and Lord Shano around town. Huh? You dummy. You were supposed to keep your mouth shut about that. Sugunobu, what are you talking about? Oh, come on. It, that was pretty self-explanatory. Why are you asking? <laughs> Might as well come clean now. Actually, before we ask you out today, Benkei asked us to show you around town. He said, as of late, my lord has seemed unsettled. Would the two of you be willing to show us around Hiraizumi to take Lord Shano's mind off things, or something like that? Honestly, we were thinking it was about time to show you around town. Benkei's timing was perfect. Is that so, Benkei? Uh... <laughs> I continued to stare at Benkei, who eventually gave up with a small nod. <laughs> Classic Benkei. Honest to a fault. You're not able to get anything past your lord, are you? He totally knows him. He's spot on. After just a little while. Classic Benkei. It's not my nature to hide things. Well, you were just thinking of Lord Shano, weren't you? That's not so bad. Is that so? Benkei must have noticed that I've been uneasy lately. Still, I didn't expect him to go so far out of his way. I'm sorry, my lord. I was out of line. Out of line for being nice and thinking about me? But so often my lord forgets to eat or sleep. You've been so devoted to your training and... Don't apologize, Benkei. I know you just wanted what's best for me. I should be the one apologizing. I'm sorry I've caused you so much worry. My lord. Haha, <laughs> quite a pair they make, eh, brother? Indeed. It was a fun day for us as well. We should do this again sometime. Thank you both. So when's this tournament, anyway? Well, it's about time for us to head back to Lord Hirihira. And don't forget, we've got a tournament to plan. See you around, you two. Ah, so we went on the tour today and the tournament's tomorrow, okay? With a wave, the Sato brothers left Benkei and I alone. Together. Alone together. Before returning to the estate, the two of us decided to walk around for a bit. It sure is refreshing to be surrounded by all this nature, isn't it? Yes, indeed. To have such a fine city surrounded by such greenery. It's a beautiful place, Hiraizumi. Yes, beautiful and vast. The size of the town, the power of nature, and the heart of Lord Hirihira, who rules this place... It all seems so big. The people who live here all seem to also have honest and kind hearts. Same with the Sato brothers. Lord Sugunobu and Tadanobu, you mean? Indeed, they are a pleasant bunch. Hmm. I suppose they just want us to fit in and feel welcome here. 
Remembering how the two of them had been today, I sensed they genuinely cared about my fitting in here at Hiraizumi. With such kind-hearted samurai around him, and such a fine city to rule, it's no wonder Lord Hidehira seems to be such a great man. It is my hope that Hirazumi will be a place of peace for you too, my lord. That's... that's probably not going to happen. Even if I am far from Kyoto, I'm still Genji's orphan after all. As long as the Heike live, they will pursue me. I know they will. I can never let my guard down. And yet... I... I hope so too. When confronted by the magnificent scenery of Hiraizumi, I couldn't help but feel at ease. We continued walking through the woods, until... Ha ha ha! Oh, here, here, over here! Wait for me, big brother! Are those... kids? What, it's not like it should be unusual, right? It would seem so. They must be from around here. A young girl and boy came running toward us, playing tag. The two were so busy playing, they didn't seem to notice us. They look like they're having fun. Indeed. It's nice to see young kids running around. I said wait! Yeah! Hmm? She fell? Hey, are you okay? Don't cry. Where does it hurt? Can you stand? Hmm, that's not good. Better go help him. Before I could even move, Benkei approached the children. Is she alright? She's not hurt, is she? <laughs> What's that? Really? I'm scared. Well, what the hell are you doing? Get away from her! Oh no. I guess they got alarmed when they saw Benkei. He can be pretty intimidating if you don't know him. A hulking guy like him. Oops, sorry. Did I scare you, little fella? I guess I can look a little scary but with that scar and all. But I'm not a bad monk or anything. I just wanted to see if you're alright. Really? Really? Hey, big guy. You get away from my sister. Wait a minute. This man is my vassal. He may be big, but he's also very kind. He wouldn't hurt a fly, I promise. Really? Hmm. It's just like my lord says. I promise. All right. But don't try anything funny. I'm watching you, mister. <laughs> All right, let's see here. <gasps> Benkei picked up the girl who was still lying on the ground. He then looked at her tiny limbs and brushed the dirt from her kimono. Just a few scrapes, but you should be all right. Benkei here. I bought some water with me. Use this. Thank you. All right, this might sting a little bit. Be brave, okay? Uh. Uh. After quickly taking care of the wound, Benkei placed his hand on the girl's head. There we go. I put some medicine on your cuts. You'll feel better soon. You did great. You didn't cry at all. Yeah. The fear in the girl's face had nearly disappeared. It, it doesn't hurt anymore? Hmm. It doesn't hurt, big brother. I see. Well, that's good. I'm sorry about before. I told you to stay away from us. I just... Some of the monkeys are violent and scary... But you're not one of those, are you? Don't worry about it. You were just being a good big brother. You were very brave. Aw, you think so? Mm. I think so, too. You were just taking care of your sister, after all. Yeah, that's so sweet. <laughs> well, I'm determined to protect her. The young boy puffed out his chest with pride, and the girl looked up at him, her eyes sparkling with admiration. Yeah, just make sure you keep that kind of relationship when you get older, too. You guys aren't co you guys aren't from around here, are you? Where'd you come from? We just got here from Kyoto the other day. Kyoto? Really? What's it like? Tell me! I want to hear all about the capital. Well, if you just arrived, I'll show you around. 
Oh, um, that's all right. We actually just... Here, here, come this way. We already had a door. Come on, this way, this way. Without waiting for a reply, the children ran off in a frenzy. Then Kay and I turned to look at each other. They're calling us. What do you think, Big K? Then we'd better follow them, though. Perhaps it's fate. Let's see where they take us. Well, he sounds optimistic, so maybe we don't have a problem. I suppose you're right, shall we? Ooh, a beach. And a prairie? As the young siblings led the way, we looked around at the surrounding rivers and fields. You're really big, aren't you, mister? Monks are really strong, right? I wish I could be strong like that, too. You'll grow in time. And with training, you'll become strong, too. Really? All right! Hey, pretty samurai? <laughs> P pretty samurai? <laughs> yeah, this is the first time I've met such a cute samurai. I don't think they know I'm a woman, but how should I react to that? <laughs> Isn't that right? There's no other samurai as lovely and interesting as this one here. <laughs> ben Kay, what are you... Will you cut it out? Don't encourage this. Are you the cute little samurai's big brother? Or his dad? Why are you two together? Uh, well... He is my lord, and I'm his vassal. Hmm? More like my yojimbo, my bodyguard. <laughs> I guess that's a little tough to understand. So, hmm, how should I say it? Well, to me, there's nobody in the world more important than him. I'd do anything for him. Ah! Uh, Benkei's words and the smiling face he said them with took my breath away. I see. So the cute little samurai is someone very important to you. Is that right, mister? Indeed. That should about explain it. <laughs> then Kay laughed without any hint of embarrassment. Uh, I guess he never... It probably hasn't even dawned on him that it could be taken any other way <laughs> than just simply the loyalty that he's feeling. I felt my heart warm at the sight of him. I began to blush. To hide my embarrassment, I quickly walked in front of them. The kids squealed and giggled with joy as they pulled us along. Now where are we going? They've already grown quite attached to Benkei, haven't they? It's hard to believe that they were so frightened just a moment ago. The children's excitement made me smile, and I couldn't help but feel the tension in my shoulders relax as I watched them. The crops are really good around here. I'm helping my mom with the harvest this year. Well, that's great. So you're not only a good brother, you're a good son too. Well, we don't have a father, so it's up to me to protect them. Uh, the boy smiled brightly, but as he looked over the field, I could see a hint of sadness in his eyes. He died three years ago, in a skirmish with the Amishi. I remember him a little bit, but my sister was just a baby, so she doesn't even remember what he looked like. I'm sorry to hear that. My thoughts immediately turned back to the Momonosaku we saw the other day, which is... Castle fence built in Mutsu province, built in 759 to prevent invasion by the Amishi. That referred to the forts? I guess that fence to prevent the Amishi from invading was not just for show. Even in such a peaceful Hirazumi, the fires of war still smolder. But are the Amishi really the invaders, or are they the natives, and everybody else is encroaching on their territory? I felt as if my heart was being pulled out of my chest by the reality that confronted me. But we're not the only ones. We all help each other out and get by. I can't wait to get big and strong so Mom can take it easy. Oh, what a cute sweetheart. A fine goal. You really are a good boy, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. The boy smiled brightly despite his sorrow. His strength and good health couldn't be denied. Hey, hey, mister, can you carry me like before? Sure problem. Up we go. Oh. Ah! 
Uh, that looks like fun. Hey, mister, me too. All right, all right. Here we go. Whoa, a P-Rex ride. It's so high up here. I want to see a picture. <laughs> you sure are strong, mister. You two are light. I think we could even go for a little run like this. Really? Really? Do it, do it. All right, hold on tight. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're certainly having fun. Then Kay ran with the two kids hanging from him, laughing and smiling. He looked like such a dad. Those kids must really miss their father. Maybe that's why they've taken to Benkei like this. Come to think of it, I never had a dad to play like this with either. Like the little girl, I too did not know my father's face. As I watched, my eyes met Benkei's as he lowered the children to the ground after running around for a while. How about you? Me? You want to give me a piggyback ride too? <laughs> Benkei smiled a giant grin and spreads his arms towards me. Oh, jeez. Well, I stared blankly at him, stunned by the suddenness of his suggestion. How about you? What the hell did he mean by that? Come on, up we go. I don't get a choice in this. Is he, is he trying to pick me up? Yeah, no, I'm fine, thanks. He's not taking no for an answer. I was confused, yet Benkei leaned in closer to me. Oh, come on now. Don't be shy. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Benkei picked me up and lightly placed me on his shoulders. But Benkei, what are you doing? It's no fair to let the kids have all the fun. How's the view from up there? It, it sure is high. Wow, I can see everything. It's so beautiful, but... but... Suddenly, I remembered myself. Surprised and embarrassed, I panicked. The children shouted with joy from the ground. That's amazing! You sure are strong, mister! He's bigger than us. You can still carry him so easily. I don't know what to say as the children began to frolic and dance around us. Uh, all right, that's enough, right? Time to put me down. You must be exhausted. But he hasn't even run across the field with you yet. Not at all. You're as light as a feather. I could climb a mountain like this. You know how strong I am, right? This isn't the first time I picked you up like this. It was exactly as he said. Benkei's body didn't falter once, even though I was on his shoulders. Yeah, that's right. On the shores of Lake Biwa, Benkei picked me up like this before. But, but this is different. I can walk. You don't have to carry me. You are not having fun, my lord. No, I am. It's just... How is he not embarrassed? <laughs> I wanted to ask him, but... Because he's got a little bit of that child in his heart. That's awesome. I want to grow up to be as strong as you, mister. When he holds me up, I can see so far. It's fun. Huh, big brother? Yeah. And when he runs around like that, I can see the scenery and feel the breeze. It's awesome. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, I'm sure my lord will like it too. Let's take a short walk then. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Without waiting for my reply, Benke began to walk through the field. I hurried to adjust myself so that I wouldn't fall, but Benke's arms were holding me so tightly there was no way I'd fall. <laughs> Even if I tried. Ah! The pleasant smell of the green grass and the wood caresses my cheeks in the form of a soft breeze. The higher we climb, the more vivid the peaceful scenery of Hiraizumi be became. It's strange. The view looks different from up here, even though it's just a minor change in eye level. Feels good, doesn't it, little samurai? <laughs> a pretty samurai. You could see so far, huh? The children ran around us happily, and stared up at me with sparkling eyes. What do you think, my lord? Benkei asked, his smile just as bright as the children below him. When he looked at me like that, 
I felt all the tension in my face melt away, and I answered, It's incredible. I'm glad to hear that. Hey, mister, over here, over here. There's a really pretty flower. Okay, lead the way. Come on, come on. Let's go for a little run. Hold on tight, my lord. All right, kids, here we come. Whoa! Whoa, Big Hey! Whoa, dude, slow down! <laughs> Before I knew it, I found myself laughing as hard as the three of them. Sometimes, I guess I need this kind of thing. Along with a little lingering embarrassment, a warm feeling overflowed within my heart. Oh, and that's a good place to end the, the video. Well, that was fun and really cute. I'm sure we'll have more cute moments to come with him. So, hope to see you in that next video, or maybe some of my other ones. Do really signing out for now. Bye-bye, everybody.